So we're back in the beautiful town of Vitorito to see a bargain property that potentially could be something really, really special. Get ready for this one. Back in one of my favorite towns in the uh, in the middle of uh, the Val di Poligna, close to many other towns such as Sulmona, Raiano, Popoli, all of these places. It's also the, the hometown of, uh, of Domenico, who's become uh, uh, quite well known on our videos. The guy that I work with in this area. We've chosen to come here today on the day of Chiusura, which basically means, because every town here has a day where, where the shops close. And, and I've chosen that day. So the bar's closed, which is on our left. It's just been restored as well, apparently. Uh, there's a, a grocery shop behind us that's, uh, that's closed today as well. I do like to choose my days, don't I? But there you go. <laughs> I actually like it when it's quiet. It's a nice, cool, fresh morning in, uh, in January. So Vittorito has become uh, really popular. Um, for overseas buyers and quite rightly so as well it's only a small town but there's a couple of bars there's all the basic facilities there's pharmacists hairdressers there's a pizzeria but it's just a, a great place there's public transport here that takes you to all the places around Rayano, uh, Sulmona, Popoli um, all the towns and places around around the Sulmona they're all all run on the same uh, uh, same bus route if you like so you can get around with no problem and the next time town along is Rayano which has its own train train station as well so you can actually walk to Rayano from Vittorito it would probably take you a good half an hour um, but it's a fantastic walk so yeah plenty of uh, public transport options so this is obviously the older part of the town and as you can see when I swing around in this direction you can see the mountains up there with a little bit of snow on them. We've not had much snow this uh, this year. This, the amount of snow seems to be getting less and less every year. But obviously they are quite high mountains so they do get it. Here you're about 45 minutes to the coast to Pescara um, and about half an hour to Roccarasso which is the number one number one ski resort. So it is a a great location. I will link to uh, um, a couple of properties in Vittorito and I'm actually going to be doing two uh, video, but well, releasing two videos for this place because we've got another bargain property as well. So I will link to that once that uh, once that's shown on the channel. At least you can have a look back, uh, look at a few other parts of Vittorito that that I'm not going to cover on this video. So, the property we're going to see is a smallish property, but it's been completely restored on the, uh, on the outside and on the inside. Uh, a few alterations, in my opinion, needed, which I know you love when I uh, talk about that. Um, but it could be something really special, because there is a space on the roof to have a great roof terrace. Unfortunately, I can't get up on it uh, today because there's no ladders to get up there. Um, but the views from there would be fantastic because you'd look, you'd look over the the town and then towards, towards the mountains that you see here and uh, and also the hill behind, uh, or should I say mountain behind uh, Vittorito as well. Okay, so the property is literally a two minutes walk from here, two minutes in in this direction, then off to our right. So let's uh, let's go and have a look at this one. Okay, so this is the, the street where the house is. Domenico's over there, look. Happy with himself. <laughs> There's his wave. Great thing about Vittorito, uh, lots of the houses are being restored. But even the council do just little areas such as this, just little seating areas. Nice to see when, uh, when councils do, do certain things just to, just to make the properties or just to make the town have a, a better What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know even know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean anyway. Okay, so the property 
I said it's quite a small property. I must have had my eyes, eyes closed last time I came here because it's not at all. So this is the this is the property here, and it's basically all of that. And on top, as you'll notice, is a flat roof that would just be an unbelievable terrace. Because again, as I mentioned, you'd be able to see the old town, which is up here on the hill. You'd be able to see from there. You can just see the church to the side. And then also you'll be able to see the, uh, the mountains in the, in the distance as well. So that would be really special. It's such a shame we can't get up there. But there you go. So the other property that I'm not sure if which, in which order I'll put the properties on, but the other property that we've got for sale is this one at the end on the right that's also uh, on the channel or may not be at the time I release this one. But uh, if it is, I will link to that as well. So it's been completely restored on the outside and on the inside in most parts. New windows. And what I really like about it as well is they've kept some of the original features such as the, the stone around the window. And the reason why it comes out the way it does now is because... Oh no. <laughs> That's the wrong example and it's not. It's making me look, making me look stupid now why I'm tapping on the side of the house. But basically it's had a, what they call a capotto, which means a, it literally translates to coat, but it's got all the, uh, the insulation on the outside. So uh, that's why it sticks out a little bit from the, from the stone. So not only has it been restored, but it has the, uh, the insulation on the outside as well. So how, how cool is that? And look at these properties, they're all really fantastic. Because this town, managed to get uh, funds from the, the government to, to restore parts of the historical centre and that's why lots of these properties are completely restored which is superb. So it is early morning so the, the sun's not quite got to the down part and it is winter but as you can see your roof terrace is going to be baked in sun all the time. I really wish you could get up there because the, the views will be fantastic but there you go. Okay so I am going to give my 10 pence worth, as I say, about what I would do in terms of restoration because there are a few things that I would, I would change here. Um, and I know some people don't like it when I do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll just show you this side. You imagine having some railings around the top of that. Amazing. And then there's a and b here as well, look, if you, uh, if you want to come and stay while you're having restorations done. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Let's look inside. Okay, so inside. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Dave, you forgot your torch again. <laughs> and I have. And usually, not usually. Well, as you know, usually I forget, but I have actually bought myself a torch and forgot it. So, you're not going to believe what I'm going to... I've got to show you this, because we've got Domenico and Tony behind me with their lights on their phone. Have you ever seen anything like it? <laughs> so, we only need it for this floor. Anyway, so this room, for me, the problem what they've done here... Um, is they put all these dividing walls in. Now these are nothing walls and I would take all of these out. This, this one, part of this and just have one big, I don't know why they've done it like this, and just have one big open plan kitchen dining area in my opinion. You don't have to for now if you don't want to spend it. What they've done it originally for is to have the kitchen down here I don't really know what they wanted to do here. And then there's a bathroom in the corner. I just, to me, this is the, the error that they've made here. Because it's also got vaulted ceilings. So it would be great just to open, just, just get rid of all of that. And then have a really nice, I hope it's coming through because it would be superb with these, with these vaultings. So I'm gonna show you the bathroom now where I've, I've got the two, two Ronnies that, <laughs> that are gonna follow me and see if we can get a little bit of uh, extra lighting. So imagine that all of this is open, the floors are new, and so are the, uh, the windows as well. 
I've never seen anything like this. You should see these two behind me. Unbelievable. And the bathroom is actually fairly, uh, fairly new. Well, it is new. Got the water heater for hot water. And then the bathroom in here. And I would keep this because you could probably put a washing machine and things like that in here as well or in, in the kitchen. Again, new windows, everything's new. So I would keep this part, but all the rest I would I would open up just to have one huge open plan kitchen dining area. And remember as well, <laughs> Domenico and Tony have hidden around here. Hang on a minute. Look then. <laughs> Look how professional our videos are, fantastic. Um, and it's also got all new electrics. Uh, I say all the floors are new. There's uh, plumbing for the kitchen down there, so you can have a kitchen all along there and beyond this wall. Really nice kitchen in this area, and the dining room there, I think would work superb in this place. The wiring is all new, obviously needs the, the lighting and everything put on. And even the even the stairs, all new. Superb. Let's take a look upstairs. So these stairs, all new marble. You'd have to watch your head on this part. I'm six foot one, you'd have to duck slightly, but it's no big deal. The thing to consider in this place is there is no central heating at the moment. That's why there was an electric boiler downstairs. So you do have to consider either using the split, uh, split, split using the split um, air conditioning and heaters or putting a central heating system in there. Uh, I will try to get a rough idea of costs uh, for, for the boiler and all the new um, heating setup and I'll put it in the description once I get to know but having said all of that the price of this is so ridiculously low that anything you do here is only going to add value okay again now it depends how many bedrooms you need because upstairs I would say I would only have one bedroom up there even though there's potentially space for two but again they've put this dividing wall here because their idea was to have some sort of sitting area here and then a big double bedroom here now remember that at the moment there is only one bathroom downstairs and it's in this sort of corner so potentially you could maybe want to put an ensuite in here if you want to turn your bed up against the wall if to put an ensuite in you've got to consider between let's say between round about five thousand if you consider between five to seven i'm going to say thousand euros if there isn't one there and you need to put everything new so obviously build the walls tiles all your bathroom suites everything else we used to say between four and five but with price increases i want to say between uh, five and seven just to just to cover myself or maybe you wanted to have the downstairs as a guest area and maybe you want to knock this through and have it as a huge lounge or lounge kitchen there's lots of options depends how many bedrooms you need but if you need two I think if you've got a really nice flashy kitchen dining room downstairs that you could also have a sofa in this is a little bit of a sitting room as well bedroom in there potentially with an ensuite up the stairs and have the top floor as a, almost as a suite and then up again to the uh, to the roof terrace there you go that's my 10 pence worth so again it's got all the the fittings here for lights i'm not sure why they put a light here but again if you're going to have an ensuite possibly in here that's ideal for that all new floors again new electrics and here are the Superb windows, they're all double glazed. Brilliant. Could do with fly screens adding, but again, for the price, it's, it's amazing, it really is. Windows are in superb condition. This is a good size room, this would make a great bedroom. 
even though I'm tempted to say just have it in a one bedroom flashy place, knock that down and this is a huge living room. But anyway, that's up to yourselves. Little bit of storage under the stairs, always handy. And even though you certainly can't see the views, I'm gonna try and extend this selfie stick for you to see the views once we get upstairs. But this is so nice and light, even on this winter's day. So nice and, uh, and light once you get onto this, this floor. And let's do the, the top floor. So no matter what restorations, if any, you want to do, this I think needs to be sort of a, a, almost a master suite. Even though you could add another bedroom up here if you wanted, but you need access to the, to the roof terrace, which that's the hole for it. So you need some stairs set coming. Maybe you have to have a few going this way and then the rest going up there to need to be calculated, but you need some access to that. And then in this section, you could maybe have a bathroom and a bit of wardrobe space. And then, as I say, the stairs to take you, uh, to take you up. Just needs thinking about it. But we've got people that can, uh, can do this sort of thing. Just noticed a couple of marks on the ceiling. We'll check with the owners what that is. But with it being a, a flat roof, to me it looks more that it's been locked up because it has the dusty stuff we've had rain recently and there's no no sign of rain coming in but the fact that it's a flat roof you can easily get up there and sort that out and that's one of the first jobs I would do would be to get the tiling on that to, that kind of get some tiles down to get it all sealed up so the the entrance I would say would come up here from the stairs just needs thinking about how we're how you're going to get through there door at the top already the beams seem to run in this direction which means in theory we should be able to open this some more so you would have a, a staircase potentially that would come here and then head up that way then we have what would be the main bedroom superb Again, look how bright it is. Bed, even though they've done it so the bed goes there, I think it'd be too tight. I would have the bed here. And then maybe a wardrobe at that side. Loads of space. Again, look how bright it is. I don't know if you can see the mountains over there. But you imagine going up another, nearly three meters up onto the roof, what kind of views you're gonna get from here. What a place this is, you know, this is a real, a real bargain. This could be something special. Just play around with the layout a little bit. And it's not major construction because all these walls, they're all nothing walls. So even if you, I don't know, a geometer or, or, or somebody redesigns, reconfigures, to take these down is not a major problem. But in the same way, you could start coming and using it straight away and then decide what you're doing, decide what you're doing afterwards. So again, these windows are all new. I'm going to show you the view from eye level. And then it's probably not going to make any difference at all, but let me extend this, this stick just to see if we can get any more of a view. any more of the view or if I was facing in the wrong direction but and even that is still not as high as it would be if you were actually stood up there what do you think I think it's an absolute bargain yes there's some work to, still to be done potentially but if you wanted to for now bring some furniture in start living in it connect the electrics up get the lights 
light fittings put up rather than just these and then decide as you go along and for this price my word what a bargain imagine it with the roof terrace brilliant ready for final thoughts let's do it So my final thoughts on this one, and I've just been having a quick chat with Domenico as well, because I really do think this is a bargain place. And potentially what you could do here is, uh, is just brilliant. So I'm gonna do a final thought mixed with what I've just been discussing, which is pretty much what I've said before, but I would definitely do it as a layout. For now, obviously use it, come and use it. But look at these beautiful vaultings. Imagine taking all of this down, keeping the bathroom there, because you can still keep the bathroom with the washing machine. Keep all of that here, have a beautiful kitchen, dining area, and then a sitting area here. Not necessarily a lounge, but somewhere where you come, I don't know if you've got guests coming around or something like that, you can all get together down here near to the, near to the kitchen. Then, this is not much of a final thought, is it? But I just think it's so much better than possibly what I've described it. Then I would have, Another sitting area here with a TV. So I just think this level's nice. I think it's got something about it. I don't know, even this time having a coffee here or something, I, I don't know, just something nice about uh, this little part. And then double bedroom, and you could have a bathroom in the corner there. Go upstairs again, bathroom in that, uh, the first room, and double bedroom there. So you'd have three, three baths and uh, three bathrooms, two bedrooms, brilliant kitchen, living, dining downstairs, and uh, a lounge up here. Yes, I can hear you saying, but how much is that gonna cost me, Dave? So, let's have a, a little bit of a thought about it. A couple of en suites, let's say somewhere between 10 to 14,000 euros. Knocking a few walls around if needed downstairs, your kitchen, and then sorting out the terrace out. Even if you spent the same money again, or potentially a little bit more, it all depends on your finishing, how you want to do it, it would still be a property at 60 odd thousand that, obviously there's fees and taxes and things like that that's going on in the sales price, but it, it would just be, it would be more than worth it. In fact, you could probably sell it and make money on it if you wanted to just be a great, great place, and especially with that roof terrace as well, because the views from up there are fantastic. So my final thoughts, finally, are bargain, bargain, bargain. Because even if you didn't want to do anything, you could just not do anything for now, just bring some furniture. Yes, it does need the central eating, there's that to consider as well. But for now, maybe you just come between April and the end of October, you don't even need it or mid-November. It's one of those that where you're in control, you can do whatever you want. Location superb, I love Vittorito. And the fact that it's so close to Popoli, um, so close to Raiano and the train station, it's just brilliant. And villages like this, I always say, are the heartbeat of Abruzzo. This is where you get to know the community, but you're not stranded because close by, there's, there's towns with bigger supermarkets and everything else, but here they have the basic facilities. They have a couple of bars, they have doctors, they have pharmacists, they have grocery stores. And then you've also got the bus service. Can you tell in my voice I'm getting excited? Brilliant. <laughs> Somebody snap this up. I'm sure they're going to do. Because this place deserves, deserves deserves to be finished. And as I say, the part, the best part, is what is up there on the roof, a huge roof terrace, will be amazing. So, thanks again for all the support you've given us. Please like, please subscribe, do everything that every YouTuber, is that what I'm calling myself now, a YouTuber? My kids laugh at me when I say that. But do whatever it takes <laughs> to like, subscribe, write some comments, because it really does help, really, really does. 
And don't forget, every Tuesday, join us live on Facebook and YouTube, where we do our live streaming sessions, talking about the buying process. Uh, we talk about lots of things. But for now, from this fantastic and... I don't even want to say budget, because it's not. It's just unbelievable value for money from this fantastic property. What am I going to say? I'm going to say, whatever you do, do not miss this one.